Okay, back in On One Photo Raw, we're going to take a look at Photovia, their uh, sharing application. First things first, you go to Photovia and configure. You can choose either Dropbox or Google Drive. My Google Drive is chock full of files, so I'm going to use Dropbox, which I don't normally use all that much. Uh, the authentication page you're going to get popping up isn't part of the app. It's actually from Dropbox and or Google, if you're familiar with their... Now, it remembered my token from earlier, but you're going to see either a Dropbox or a Google uh, pop-up box and type in your credentials. It generates a token, which then authorizes on one to do certain actions. It's no different than like logging in with Facebook or, or that type of thing. You're not actually giving them your credentials. Although you are typing it into their app on your computer, who knows what's going on, but you either trust them or you don't. Uh, computer name. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, it does default to your host name, but you can call it, I don't know, main, because you could use this for multiple computers, and then you'll know where your files are coming from. And that's it. You're, you're all set. Uh, now all we're going to do, um, you can either sync by album or straight up by folder. So I could sync this little uh, workflow folder or all of 2017 on my NAS, which is going to be uh, just a bad time, I think. So I've got down here, I have a test album, which has a bunch of these files. MISC, which has a couple different ones. And Hero 5, which is a smart album, which is kind of like a smart collection in um, Adobe Lightroom. And this pulls in everything shot by a GoPro Hero 5. Except uh, On One doesn't support GPR uh, raw files, so these are just the JPEGs. And actually, I will I will show you. We'll create a smart album by camera. Let's go with the DP2 Quattro. which is probably mostly going to be Alaska. And there, now we have an album, and we can sync it with Photovia if we want. And that'll give us uh, access to all of my Quattro files. As you can see, it's still indexing. Uh, all my Quattro files uh, on the phone. And just to be clear, it's iPhone only right now. I don't know what their plans are for an Android version. But because we're still indexing all these TIFFs, which are a couple hundred megs, uh, we'll jump back to a folder that's done. And let's go with, these are already JPEGs, so I'm going to skip it. I'm going to go to MISC, TIFF, TIFF, um, that one's a JPEG, uh, RAW, RAW. So I can go right click, publish to Photovia, and as you can see, these are both on their way up. And let's do test album as well. Actually, let's do workflow, because it's on a separate hard drive. So all I'm doing, uh, the little phone icon has an X, you click it, it turns to a check mark, or you can right click, publish in Photovia. And from here you can see your published items, and either jump to it in the browse module, or unpublish it. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to sync, so while we're waiting patiently for that to occur, I'm going to pull up the app on my phone, iOS, let's see if this scales decently, not bad. So right now it's defaulting to sign in with Dropbox, you can click this yellow text to uh, change to Google, but again we're using Dropbox, click the logo. Once more, it's a Dropbox uh, login dialog, and this one does not remember me. So I log in. Thank you for showing my password one letter at a time. We'll have to blank that out. Signing in. And because these are still syncing, as you can see over here, there may not be anything to show for it yet. I had this set up before, it just acts as I reset, which is fine. 
which we'll go over uh, as well. Ah, and we do have one file uploaded. Beautiful. One of the GoPro JPEGs, and if you slide up from the bottom, you can see your uh, EXIF data. And from down here, we can do pick reject, change ratings, save it to your camera roll, or send it, uh, airdrop, and you can also share directly to Instagram. I don't have Instagram set up on this device, but you would just click the little Instagram logo, and you can just tap to uh, change the color of the border that's going to do to fit the square. Although the one miss here is Instagram isn't just square. You can also do, or is it 4 to 5 and 1.91 to 1. So there's some different aspect ratios that this app doesn't support. Click your check mark and Instagram is not installed. But at that point it would shell out to Instagram. You type in your description and you're off to the races. Changes detected. Let's see. There we go, a couple more files. Of course, that's the JPEG as well. And that's the JPEG. If we ever get one synced, uh, what you will see is this will create a JPEG. So what it does is it renders out your raw as is and shows you a JPEG view. And again, there's our exit data. Sigma 8 to 16 mil lens. Uh, but we'll leave that for a moment. And what I will show you I'm going to go to Dropbox. Inside Dropbox, you have an apps folder, Photo Via, Catalog, and inside this catalog, you're going to have uh, volumes. Now, I've got two. One is my, my NAS, which is my, my Z drive. And the other one is my, my C drive. Well, we'll see which one is which. There we go. So it actually shows you C drive and then slash workflow. And here are my two uh, JPEGs that it generated. And you can share them just as you would regularly from Dropbox. There's no need to use the Photo Via app at that point. But if we go up one, pick our other volume. Uh, instead of saying Z, I believe it's because it's a network drive. It goes straight into our photos folder. And I don't know if there's anything here. Uh, it keeps your folder structure intact. There's a couple of our GoPros and probably the same thing. Yeah. That's, that's really all there is to it. There's not a lot you can do uh, in the app. There's no editing. It's strictly a quick way to get folders on files onto your cell phone for, for sharing. Which is admittedly a large part of what I use Light Removal for. But I also love being able to edit. So hopefully maybe that's coming in the future. You can pull these JPEGs off and edit them in maybe Snapseed, but none of your changes are going to show through into the, the desktop client. Share, rate, and your ratings will eventually sync back. There you can see some of them. So you, you can kind of do pick reject for mobile, but there's no uh, no editing functionality at this point. That's all there is to it. Uh, get sharing, and thanks for watching.